<sighs> What's up, family? <clears throat> I honestly don't know where to start. I honestly, I'm lost and I'm um, not really so much as lost, man, but it's just a, a non-stop um, emotional roller coaster for, for me. And for those who come from where I come from, man, Parkway Garden, 64th and King Drive, better known as Old Block, man. I can tell y'all like this, man. I'll be honest. It seems like ever since uh, the passing away of O, O.D., O.D. Perry, it seems as though we lose one every month, uh, every other month. Um, and it's consistent. It's been consistent. Um, whether it be somebody from O Block or, you know, for me at least, uh, consistency of just somebody that I know, somebody that I've seen and, you know, watch grow up or, you know, they watch me grow up or, you know, and I just, I, I don't know what to, to say, bro, but this is why I do what I do to you young boys out there. Understand that when you put your name out there and you want to rap and you, you want to diss different sides, man, this is what comes along with it. This is why I do what I do, man. We need more of us to come out. Go live your life, bro. The streets, and I'm telling you, even outside of Chicago, the things that we seen in the hood, <clears throat> I promise y'all, uh, they they glorify it in our in our um communities, and they put these rappers in our face. So we really uh, mentally we don't see nothing, we don't see ourselves in a different light than what they are uh, publishing and, and putting in our faces. But we are different. There's a lot of us that are out here living good lives. They don't have to worry about chasing nobody down, chasing, you know, making stupid, weird, you know, they can live a life and actually just be a regular human being. Right now, it's like, we're not regular human being, black people. Like, I, I, we're not operating. We're being tricked. Uh, we're, we're just not moving how we should be moving, man. <laughs> at, at, at what point do we understand that we are fighting a war against each other in which, you know, is 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 a war that, like Vaughn said, everybody gonna have to go. It's a game. Everybody gonna have to go in order for it to be over. Like, it makes no sense. So if we notice, why do we want to, like, who knowingly understands that they're like it's it makes no sense man it just speaks on the stress the depression that we are facing man and we just lost another one man rest in peace to bro rest in peace to little bro man and you know he uh last night um he got uh you know they they hit him up last night man um i don't really know too much to say because i i i, I extremely i am extremely worried for more of my people and like i keep telling y'all we know somebody else is gonna go we just do not know who and no one like they they still not understanding why i'm doing what i'm doing nobody is understanding why i'm a hey, leaders young black men out there we need more leaders it is time to stop following people who are not going to get you no money it ain't gonna get you nothing the only thing is going to get you is a temporary false sense of security running with these street dudes. I did it. It was a false sense of security. At the end of the day, you're going to be more stressed, more depressed, have more demons you're fighting with hanging around people who lives just who people who don't have no want to actually see the world and experience real life. Some people just don't care. You have to want to care. You have to want to be the uh, um, the light to darkness in your family if there isn't any. That's what I did. Nobody in my family was ever a, a, a someone to look up to. So I reached out to God and with the likeliness that he would help me become someone so that I can help other people in the same position. I was going in hungry, stressed, wanting to commit suicide. All of these thoughts that Satan was putting on my head because he, you know, he don't care about our bodies. God does. Bro, how many of us are going to fall victim to this, bro? How many of us are going to fall victim time and time again? Our moms, are, like our parents, our people that's in our family, they seem not to care. 
So for our brothers, the ones who we continue to say, that's our brother, this our brother, this our brother, that and this. Man, when you gonna really care for your brother? You know that they are gonna take you or your, one of your brothers, but nobody is going to fight the bigger fighting just to try to stop from doing the worst at all. It gets you nowhere. You're not a savage. You are mentally enslaved. And through your mentally enslavement, your life will be taken. And it's like they teach it. I don't, man, I'm, I'm fed up, man. Because we keep losing people and y'all going to keep glorifying it and keep being happy. Oh, it, it, it's sad, man. It's sad that we don't care about anything other than uh, uh, entertainment. And, 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 and it don't matter if it's uh, terrible, uh, you know, not, you know, entertainment and stuff that shouldn't even be entertainment. It should be looked at as, uh, you know, terrible uh, acts of, of, of against humanity you get what i'm saying and i really don't know what to say as far as what can we do to improve man because i in the bible it speaks about us get, it, it getting worse man but uh it's been this way for me man so i it's just been this way man and i don't know what to to say for y'all out there man but i just ask y'all to pray man pray for old block man pray for old block Pray for all the shorties that's out there in the hoods, man. Pray for y'all families. Stay in prayer, man. Now is the time to stay in heavy prayer right now, man, because it might not seem like it, man, but we are fighting a war, and it is a spiritual one, man. It's one of the most powerful wars known to man. It's a lot of people don't even know that that is going on. So with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all if you listened this far, man. I really do. And with that, I'm out.